to another video here with angel v designs if you are new welcome if you're not welcome back um i know i'm gonna get comments yes i am in my new studio finally recording however it is not finished as you can see this wall looks very bare it's not finished so when it's all finished i will give you guys a craft tour i promise a finished craft tour but i want to make sure that everything is done the way i want it to be done before i show you guys but that's not what we're talking about in today's video. In today's video, we are talking about the new Caesar um, Easy Color DTV product, okay? Which is what I have here, okay? So I did this on a couple of shirts here. I made one for my son. So I have one on a dark colored shirt. And then I have one on a light colored shirt, um, which is some kindergarten, back to school designs. And then I did my... Um, YouTube logo on another shirt. So this is the only one we won't be doing on camera, but I am putting this on like my TikTok and my Instagram. So make sure you follow me there if you wanna see how I press this one. But in today's video, we're gonna be pressing these two shirts. I'm gonna go into detail. I was having issues with cutting this material with my Cricut Maker 3, and I'm gonna show you how I remedied that. Um, but yeah, we're definitely gonna get into this and I'm gonna tell you everything about it that you need to know before you purchase. So definitely stick around for that. Okay, guys, so I wanted to start out in Cricut Design Space here to show you exactly um, how I'm going to set it up, how I'm going to cut it, how I'm going to print it, and all of those things so you don't have any questions. Um, so these are the two images I'm going to do. Now, we do know that with Cricut Design Space, you can only print a certain um, size. 6.75 by 9.25 is the biggest that you can print. If you have a silhouette cutting machine, then you will be able to uh, print and cut bigger if you have the, if you have a, um, a cameo. Um, so these are the two images I'm going to do. This one is going to be for my son. This is going to be 6.75 by 9.25. And this one is going to go on a shirt for me. It's also, it's 6.75 by 7.75. Just because if I did 9.25 in height, it kind of stretches the image out and then it looks weird. So these are the sizes that I'm going to go ahead and do. So I'm going to go over here to make it. And we are not going to mirror this, okay? So this is equivalent to using like premium vinyl or um, removable vinyl, okay? So you're, you're gonna be putting down a carrier sheet on top of it, a heat resistant carrier sheet on top of it, picking it up and then placing it back down on your t-shirt or whatever your blank is. So you are not going to mirror either one of these images and then I'm going to click continue. And um, I am gonna be printing these, <clears throat> excuse me, I am gonna be printing these on eight and a half by 11, those are the sheets that I have. And I do believe those are the only sizes they come in. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and get them printed. I am printing these on my Epson 7710, which is my inkjet printer. Um, I It has not been converted to sublimation. This has been my inkjet printer for almost three years now. Um, I haven't used any other inkjet printer. This is my inkjet printer. Once I get these images printed, I am going to get them cut. Um, and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you an issue I was having and how I fixed it. Um, but I quickly do want to go to um, Creative Fabrica. Two, two sites. One, I want to go to Creative Fabrica. This is where I got my designs from. Not not the logo. I had that made on Etsy, but um, the two, I'm ready to crush kindergarten and then the level unlocked kindergarten. Those I did get from Creative Fabrica. I will leave a link down below. Um, they If you join, if you're not already a member, if you join today, you do. I have a link for you to um, get your first month for a dollar. Every month after that will be $19 and then you get access to unlimited uh, do image downloads as well as um, fonts. As you can see here, I have a whole bunch of different fonts that, you know, I've saved. Um, images here. I mean, all of these come with my membership. So I don't have to um, 
pay for them individually. Like if I were to go on Etsy or if I was going to go on to creative market, I would have to purchase these separately um, without a membership. But with the $19 membership, you do get uh, unlimited downloads. Okay. So I will have a link down below for that. And then secondly, I wanted to go to heat transfer warehouse to show you the actual material. Okay. And I will have a link for this as well down below. Okay. So these are the, the Caesar easy color DTV sheets. Um, and then th this is the Caesar TTD easy mask sheets, which is basically a heat resistant transfer sheet, uh, like a carrier sheet. Um, the ones that I'm using today, I did get from Amazon. Um, I got a roll of it a really long time ago from Amazon and I'm still using it. Um, I have used these for my rhinestones. Um, to try to do like rhinestones on my shirt. Um, I do like this. It's just that I prefer to use this with my rhinestones and I prefer to use the roll that I got from Amazon for things like this. Um, so for today's project, I'm going to use the roll I got from Amazon, but I have used the TTD easy mask sheets for my rhinestones and I absolutely love them. They are a better quality, which is why I want to save it for my rhinestone projects. Um, but um, if you don't have any uh, heat transfer, um, mask, I would definitely suggest either this one or I'll leave a link down below for the one I got from Amazon. It just really depends on the project that you're doing on which one I would suggest. For the T, the DTV project, you can go with the one from Amazon. If you're going to do like, like I said, the rhinestones, because this is a better quality, um, I would go with this one. Okay. But I'll leave a link down for everything that I use down below for you guys. Um, but these are the transfer I'm sorry, the Easy Color um, DTV sheets. They come in 8.4 by 11, which is a 50 pack. They do have Afterpay and Klarna if you would like to use it. Um, to my knowledge, this is the only one that Heat Transfer Warehouse has available right now. Um, and <clears throat> I don't know if you go to directly from uh, Caesar, but this is where I got mine from, okay? And I'll leave a link down below. But what I'm going to do is I am going to go ahead and get everything printed out. I'm going to come back and we're going to talk about how to cut this because like I said, I was having some issues and I want to tell you what my issues were and how I um, rectified those issues. So I'm going to go ahead and get all of this printed out and I will meet you guys back here in a second. Okay, so I have my image, my first image printed out here, which is the one that's going to be for my son. Okay, so when I, f I have the Cricut Maker 3. That's what I use on a regular basis. Um, you guys, I tried to do this yesterday, and I literally went through like 15 sheets of paper trying to get, well, it wasn't that many. It was probably really like seven, somewhere between seven and 10 sheets of paper, trying to get this to cut right. You guys, it would not cut right. It would not cut right. It just, it was cutting um the first image that i did which was um this one i did this one like for my um tiktok and stuff like that it was a mess every time it cut out this image it was an absolute mess it wouldn't cut all the way through it was just it was it was a mess okay it was a mess and i was so frustrating and was getting on my nerves so I was like, I can't be the only one. This can't be me, right? Because I'm pretty good at crafting. So I was like, I don't understand why I can't figure out this cut. This is a mess. This can't, I can't be the only one having this issue. So I went on YouTube and I started looking at a bunch of videos, okay? And what I found out was that everybody who has an Explore cutting machine, and this is for Cricut, this is not for Cameo, for Cricut, if anybody who has an Explore machine was not having the same issues as those who have a Cricut Maker 3 specifically, I saw several videos where they were using a Cricut Maker 3 and they were having the same issues with their images either being cut extremely messy or um, it just wasn't cutting through, period. Okay, all the way through, period. So, um, and then anybody who had an Explorer machine, their, their pictures were cutting beautifully. There was no issues. So I'm like, okay, so what's the difference between the Explorer machine and the Cricut Maker 3? So here's the thing. I have an Explorer machine, right? Here it is up under here. I do have an Explorer Air 2. 
So what I did was, and you, as you can see, it's a little dusty. I went and I got my Explorer Air, um, my Explorer Air 2. And I cut it on my Explorer Air 2 to see if it was my machine or if it was my settings. So I cut the image that I did on the blue shirt. Let me go get the blue shirt. This is the blue shirt that I made for like my TikTok for my son. Okay, so I cut this on, finally cut it on my Explore Air 2 on iron on setting. And I mean, it weeded like butter, you guys. It was a beautiful cut, a beautiful weed. There was no issues at all whatsoever. So I was like, okay, so it has something. So then I'm like, okay, my brain is turning again. Is it the machine or is it the blade? So then what I did was I took the blade that came with this machine and I put it in this machine just now. And then I just cut this. So I just cut this with my Cricut Maker 3, but I took the blade that came with the Explore Air 2 and I put it in here and we're gonna see how I'm, I'm about to weed it now we're gonna see how this weeds so that we can see if it's the machine or if it's the blade that's the problem okay and I have a feeling that it's the blade so let's see and look at this do y'all see this it's weeding beautifully okay all of these little small letters it's weeding just fine so do you know what this tells me it's the blade okay the blade that comes with the Cricut Maker 3 I believe is a 65 degree blade the fine point blade that comes with the maker 3 is 65 degree angled the the blade that comes on the the older explorers are 45 degree angled fine point blades the 45 degree angled cuts better on this material the 65 degree cuts I don't I don't know why it is that way but that's what it is it's the blade that is not cutting all the way through and this material calls for a 45 degree angled fine point blade okay so these you can purchase these on Amazon I will leave a link down below um, if you have an explorer and you have a maker and you would like to use your maker like I said all I did was um, when you purchase these machines, you do. There's a fine point blade that comes with every machine. So I still had the fine point blade that came with my Explorer Air 2. All I did was I took the blade out of that one, my Explorer Air 2, and I put it in my Cricut Maker 3, and we're here. Okay, so I'm got. So now I know that I need this blade to cut this material um, cleanly okay so it, it cut but it was just it was just messy it was just a mess and who wants to sit there and try to figure out how to weed it without making a mess and it, it was just a headache okay so I really wanted to touch on that and explain that because I saw other people who have the Cricut Maker 3 were having issues and I had the Cricut Maker 3 I had nothing but issues but when I switched the blade to a smaller degreed um, fine point angled blade I, I'm not having those issues anymore okay so it's the knife it's not the machine it's the blade but I did want to go ahead and just kind of talk to you guys about that because it was driving me crazy okay it was driving me crazy I figured it out and I wanted to kind of just share that information so that you all had that information as well when you go to I don't know what you know machines you have obviously but I just wanted you to keep that information in mind if you're gonna purchase this and use it okay so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna get my other image printed I'm gonna get them cut I'll meet you over my craft table and we're gonna get these weeded and pressed all right so I have my second image printed out and cut and then I did go ahead and weed this one I'm loving how it came out so far. This is gonna go on a white shirt. I thought I had a black shirt to put it on because it was gonna look better, but I don't. I actually don't have any black shirts in 
my son's size so it's gonna have to be white but that's fine I'll make him another one if he really likes it in the color black so what I'm doing now is I am just weeding the second image which is pretty simple to eat weed there's no little intricate cuts or anything like that so that was pretty simple no issues there now this is the roll that I was talking about that I got from Amazon um, this is the name of the brand I will link it down below I bought this like some years ago do y'all see how big this roll is I bought this some years ago I don't use it often um, but like I said for this particular project um, it's basically a heat resistant transfer sheet okay so you know when you're using um, like removable vinyl you have to use a carrier sheet or a transfer sheet um, to pick up the vinyl and put it onto your blank that's essentially what this is but it's heat resistant so you can put it use it with this and put it on shirts or you know just use heat with it um, for this particular project I'm gonna use this one now when I'm using something um, that I need a little bit more grip on or a better quality like I said my rhinestones then I do use the um, the TTD which is this one here this is the TTD mask sorry about that my camera died but yeah this is the TTD mask um, and like I said, it is good. It's better quality than this one is. Um, so I save this for my rhinestones and I use this for this type of uh, project. Okay. All right. So essentially all I'm going to do is we're just going to measure out a piece here and we're going to cut it. And then we are gonna weight it for those that have been watching me yes I am fully in my new office that's where I'm recording now um, it's just that it's not done there's still so much I have to do um, so I'm not necessarily ready to do a um, a tour just yet a craft room tour I really want to you know put everything together I'm just kind of taking my time with putting everything together and doing the design of it because I really want it to be what I want it to be I don't want to have to you know redo it or anything like that later on down the line so I'm just really taking my time but once I get everything together and here it is on the transfer sheet okay loving it so far so i'm just going to go ahead and flip this over so it doesn't stick to my tabletop and then i am going to bring you all over to my heat press and we're going to go ahead and press these okay so i'm using my htv want 15 by 15 um auto press today and i did have my sun shirt already kind of pre-pressing so what I did was I just pre-pressed his shirt. The settings for this is 300. I know you can't see it because I don't know why it does that on the camera. The, the numbers doesn't don't actually blink in real life. It only does that on my camera for some reason. Um, but the settings for this material is 315 degrees at 15 seconds. That's it. So I did just pre-press the shirt already. So I'm going to go ahead, um, I'm going to use this little t-shirt ruler here. This is a toddler size. I did get this from Amazon. I'll try to remember to link it down below, but I use this to kind of place the designs. Okay. And then I'm just going to take this and line it up with the ruler that looks good and then I'm gonna move that out of the way and we're gonna lift this up and we're gonna press this I'm not going to cover it okay 
okay and I do have this on auto open so all I'm gonna do is push it in it closes by itself and then after 15 seconds it will pop open by itself as well I do have I think like three videos reviewing this I did different blanks um, I talked about the pledge. I talked about the kickstart. I talked about all of that. So if you are interested in this particular press, definitely check out my channel for the other content I have in regards to this heat press. Okay, now it is done and it is a hot peel. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and peel it up. And there it is. Oh yeah, this definitely would have looked better on a black shirt, but that's okay. I may just do another one and put it on a black shirt, but there it is. That looks really good. And it feels, so I know like for me, one of the questions I had is what is the difference between this and like the, um, like regular transfer paper, right? Transfer sheets, because those are also inkjet. Right, so to me, these feel, the feeling of it is way thinner. There's way more stretch to it. Um, and you don't have to have a separate sheet for lights, like light colored shirts and a separate sheet for dark colored shirts. It's the same sheet you use for white or black. It doesn't matter. Um, so really that's gonna be your major difference. And like I said, the feel of it, this feels more so like, um, iron-on to me or maybe even a little bit thinner than iron-on um, vinyl okay so that's gonna be the major difference but I really like how that looks okay so now we're going to do the other shirt here and I am just getting it set up I'm gonna lint roll it And then I'm going to do a quick uh, 15 second pre-press. Just to get all of the moisture out of it. Alright. And then for this one, because it's a shirt for me, I'm probably just going to wear it like, you know, casually. I'm just going to set it down. I'm not really caring too, too much about how I place it on the shirt because like I said, it's a shirt for me. I'm probably just going to wear it like around the house or in the office. So I'm just, for the sake of the video, I want to see how it looks. Okay. Not going to cover it, and I'm going to go ahead and put it in there. 315 degrees for 15 seconds. If you haven't already done so, please join my Facebook group, Crafty Mamas with an S. I am going to be changing the name soon, guys. So I'm doing a lot of rebranding for my channel um, and my group, my channel, my uh, social media, everything. It's all going to be cohesive. So I will be changing the name to Angel Bee Designs probably um, very, very soon. As soon as I get my uh, logo and branding done. Um, and like I said, this is a hot peel. So we're going to go ahead and peel it up. Now this little piece here had flipped over. So that's why I didn't press like that. And I'm just going to pull it off. Okay. Okay. And y'all, this is not sublimation. But look how good that looks. Look how it almost looks like sublimation. Like it took a part of the shirt. Let me move you guys back over here to my craft table where there's some more natural light. That's one thing I love about this office, you guys, is the amount of natural light I have now. Oh my goodness. I love it. Do y'all see that? You can still see all of the details of my face. You can see the little sparkle still on the cup. You can see my highlight in my eyes. Do y'all see that? And a highlight under my brows. Ooh, girl. Okay, the sparkle, you can still see it. 
This is not sublimation, guys. Okay? I love it. And then this is how it looks on a dark shirt. So, like I said, I did do this for my social media, like my um, TikTok and my um, Instagram. Same thing. That looks so good. So, I definitely, definitely love this product. Um, once I figured out how to get it cut without it being like super messy, I'm definitely in love with it. Like I said, I will make sure I link everything that I use in this video, video down below, guys. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Follow me on social media. All the links will be in the description box, so please check there first. If you have any other questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below. As always, stay safe, and until next time, bye, guys.